Good morning and welcome to this week's Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 29th of November. Now, first of all, I'd like to apologize because on Monday when I did Trade of the Week, I uh, mixed up Trading the Trend and Trade of the Week. And basically, for those of you who are still short soybeans, um, that trade is still ongoing. We didn't get stopped out. Maybe what we can do is just lower our stop loss from 1,437 to the current November high at 1,402. So that's uh, with regards to last week's trades. But um, with regards to trading the trend, uh, last week we went long the S&P 500. And as we can see uh, on the um, daily chart here, uh, we continue to rise in very low volatility after the Thanksgiving weekend. Um, maybe just cash this, this one in because we are overbought here, as you can see on the relative strength index. And uh, we could perhaps with the PCE inflation data coming out of the US on Thursday, see a reversal potentially. So I would just cash in our longs from around 4,500, which we initiated in the middle of November and, and do so uh, around current levels. And with regards to this week's trading, the trend now, here you can see we had a downward trend from June of this year with regards to Robusta Coffee, but then have been trading sideways since August of this year. And it looks to me as if uh, every time we go up around the 2550 area, we fail, we come down again. So therefore, I'd like to now go short on this latest um, short signal here um, with regards to Robusta Coffee with a downside target of around the 3360 area or so. So for this week's Trading the Trend, what I would like to do is to go short Robusta Coffee on a technical basis and to do so around current levels with a stop loss above the uh, October high at 2,569 and a downside target around the 2,360 area.